What's up guys? So we're coming at you with a little bit different video today. Not really dirt bike oriented, but some of you want to see kind of behind the scenes or kind of my like daily life. So today what we're doing is probably you could tell by the thumbnail is I'm test driving some trucks today. So I'm getting rid of my Frontier. So this is a 2017 Ford F-150, the XL FX4 off-road version. So I'm gonna take you guys on kind of like a drive along on my opinion and uh, do some flybys and stuff. We're doing a little walk around that has the customized like Ford Raptor grill on there. It's got the different fender flares. It's got the black rim package, different vinyl wraps and stuff like that, bed liner. Yeah, overall the truck's pretty nice. It's got, they just painted the black rims. I'm not really a fan of that. It kind of looks funky with the over flares right there because there's such a gap between the wheels, but you can always get different wheels and tires, I guess. I don't really want to have to do that right off the start. But uh, coming inside here, the stock grill right here. It doesn't have leather seats, it's just like a fabric. Um, there's the front, I'll show you guys that in a minute. Overall, it's just a stock FX4 off-road with uh, just the vinyl package and do a little walk around. I've already pretty much showed the whole thing so far. But uh, yeah, comment your opinions down below, I know. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh dude, it's a Ford, blah, 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 it's junk. Like, I don't really care, it's, it's what I like, it's what I want. But uh, yeah, either way, you guys are gonna comment your opinions on what I should get and what I should have gotten. Either way, what I get, if that made any sense. But I'm gonna take you on a drive along and kind of explain inside the truck my opinions. And I by no means am a uh, truck car reviewer person. I'm just gonna tell you my, like, a normal buyer of a vehicle's opinion on what I think, what I like. And yeah, inside over here, you got other controls right here. You got the lights and stuff right there. They all pretty much look the same, all F-150s. Down here, we got all this room to put like your chargers, two charging ports right there. This also has got like an automatic slide up. It's got like, a thing for your phone, I don't know, like cup holders here, more cup holders here, and then the back seat, it's got this big compartment in the middle here, if I can figure out how to open it, where you can put change, and then down in there, just a big um, compartment. I don't know how I'd really organize that, but it'd probably be a mess. The thing I don't really like, it's got like a foam steering wheel. It's like kind of really squishy and like your hands sweat a lot on it. Not a big fan of that. So we're coming to an intersection right now. By, don't like, I'm not a car reviewer. Like I'm just telling you my opinion, like I said, and that's all we're gonna base it off of. And some other trucks I've driven, like say Joe Silverado, I'm gonna base it off that, based on my Nissan, and I drove a few other trucks. Just a baseline F-150, you don't really get much with it for how much you're paying, but I mean, it picks up pretty good. I'll show you a uh, 10 mile an hour roll, and I'm just gonna punch it to the floor, and we're gonna see kinda the pickup on it. Oh, we got a truck in front of me, can't do it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear the uh, what it sounds like the inside sound. We'll get an outside sound in a minute. All right. Dude, there's not even a mirror right here. Not even, dude. Doesn't even make sense. Not that I really look at myself that much, but still, like I want a mirror here. Come on. Package, like I said, they got some just a vinyl. They basically just put vinyl on it. They put a new like Ford Raptor front grill. Um, they just. Like basically painted the stock rims and they call it an upgraded package like I'm not hating on them But still like I don't understand how that's really an upgrade for the amount of money they want for all the extra parts I don't know it's definitely really stiff because it's got that stiffer suspension for that off-road package Yeah, it's definitely really stiff when you turn it's not really smooth the steering wheel is kind of hard to turn to I mean really nitpicky right now yeah, so it automatically shuts off when you come to a stoplight. Like, it's still in drive right now, so say you come to a stoplight, it shuts off, and then as you go again, it starts back up. So, kind of saves on gas, I guess. To the floor. 40, 50, 60, right there. I don't know how long that took. Comment below if you counted it, if I didn't put a timer on the screen, how long it took to get to 60. All right, right now I got my mom driving it so I can get a little flyby action and get the sound of it. That way, she doesn't really know how to use the camera, so it's easier for me just to record. But she's gonna pull off at like 45, we're gonna get a sound of it, and then... Yeah, it doesn't really sound that good. Judge me, I know either way you're gonna comment below in the comment section about like what I'm talking about, and how I'm bashing it. I'm not really bashing, I'm just telling you my opinion on what I think and like what I want in a truck, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of giving you my opinion on it and kind of my like steps on to like buy a truck. I really want to get in a truck. She's coming back right now to get a flyby, kind of get like a rolling shot of it. It's a really nice truck, don't get me wrong. It's like super nice, but 
it's just not really like I want that back steps when I get to put the dirt bikes and stuff in it's got that step in the tailgate I want leather seats because I'm always spilling stuff like my leather seats in my front not leather my uh, cloth seats in my front tier are totally destroyed from like just racing they're always dirty always like oil and stuff on them like it just makes more sense for me to get leather right now and I'm gonna have this truck for a while so I'll, if I'm gonna spend the money I'd rather spend it on something like that I really like and really like it's worth my money you know what I mean I'm not gonna get something just because if I'm spending a substantial amount of money on a truck I want it to be the way I want it and kind of set up right when I get out I want to have to customize it a lot like sure I want to get new wheels and tires wider bigger tires but other than that I don't really want to do that much to it so I kind of want to get it set up right from like when I buy it. Brand new truck, I'm looking at a couple used trucks right now. I didn't record everything or the past couple times I went and looked at trucks, but I figured this would be a cool kind of behind the scenes of like what I'm doing other than dirt bikes. So here's kind of a better view of the wheel well, how it like doesn't stick out enough. It's like too far in. I don't know why they did that like that. It looks kind of goofy with these fender flares. Like it looks, there's too much of a gap. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it just doesn't look right. I'm gonna bring it back to the dealership and swap it for a different version for it, a little bit nicer version. Yeah, try that one out instead. So this is obviously not my usual content. I want you guys to comment below, like if you like this kind of like what I'm doing in my life from day to day other than riding dirt bikes. Like I'm still gonna ride dirt bikes tonight, but that's a whole different separate video. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you like kind of like just if I'm doing something specific or if maybe I should just vlog what I'm doing every day. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you wanna see that more. And yeah, I want to hear you guys' opinion on it, if I should just start kind of vlogging, I guess you could say. All right, here's the other one we're looking at. It's got a little bit different rims, the other uh, XLT version. Right here. All right, now we're in the XLT version. As you can see, off the first bat, it's got a nicer leather um, steering wheel. Everything else on the side here is leather. They might have like a carbon fiber package. All the handles and stuff, it's just a lot nicer on the inside here. You get the uh, shifter on the side here, all leather here. All the middle consoles, all leather, but other than that, it's pretty much identical in here as far as controls and stuff like that. But it's just a little bit nicer package and version of the uh, previous sport version. I Not sport, the... Um, that is the, I drove the off-road version and this is the sport version, the XLT. So I'm gonna see how much better it drives compared to that and try out some other ones. I'm trying out three, I'm trying out the, the sport, this one, the off-road, and then the, the stock Lariat version. Yeah, this is definitely a lot nicer, a lot more smooth. We're in manual right now, put in drive. I guess it wouldn't matter, but, but it's any bigger. Like this is a lot bigger up here, I feel like the other one wasn't like that. Look at these stickers on the window. Like, it feels a lot more comfortable than the other one for sure, off the first like two seconds of driving it. There are package options you can get for it, but it all depends on um, what you really want to get with it. Are right, we gonna get on it a little bit, see how it is compared to the other one? And it feels about the same, I mean, the pickup wise. It's definitely a little bit faster than the other one for sure, but it's not like a huge difference really. I don't really care to go fast in it but I'm just kind of comparing it. Like I'm not, it's a truck, it's not like for speed, I like a car would be. But I'm just talking in general, like pickup and stuff like that. Definitely a little bit smoother of a ride because like I said, the off-road version has the stiffer suspension and this being the sport's a little bit smoother, a lot more. The cabin, the inside noise is a lot quieter and it's just overall, I mean, a better truck. There's obviously, doesn't come with the leather and I still need a bed liner for the dirt bikes, obviously, can't not have a bed liner. And I really wanted that back steps when I load the bikes and it's easier to load the bikes. I don't need a stand, but it's all the little nitpicky things. It'd be sick if I could have the Ford Raptor front grill on here and stuff like that, but I'm sure they can do all that separately if I really wanted it. But like I said, I'm just being nitpicky. This one definitely is really, yeah, sorry, you're out of the back thing. Squealed him a little bit. Yeah, the pickup's pretty good, not gonna lie. I keep going back on what I said, but as I drive it more, I'm kind of getting used to it or feeling how it actually drives. Yeah, it's a nice truck. We're bringing them back to the dealership. We might try out a couple others and we're gonna see what options we can get on this one compared to some other ones. Ugh. All right, so here's that first Ford I drove that's all blacked out, got the black accents right there. And then down here further is the, um, the other 
XLT right there. So they do look a little bit different. That one doesn't have the rims or the black accents yet. All right, guys, I just got back home. It's kind of, this is pretty much gonna wrap up the video of kind of truck shopping, I guess you could say, or looking at trucks. If you guys like this video and kind of like the different style video of me vlogging, definitely comment below, like I said. And off of that, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new. Like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys in my next video.